now discuss the kashering of countertops and sinks for Pesach. Now, a countertop, depending on the material that it's made from, can or might not be able to be kashered. This is a Formica countertop. Some don't want to kasher plastic, which is what Formica is made from. So some do not kasher this for Pesach. They would just cover this. If it's made from ceramic, as these ceramic tiles are, one can also not kasher for Pesach. This must be covered. If the countertop is made from granite, which is a slab of stone, or from quartz, which is essentially small pieces of stone which are held together in a composite with resin, then one can kasher that. And the method of kashering is pouring boiling water over the surface. Now, when one does this, one needs to first clean the entire surface and leave it idle for 24 hours. That's the prerequisite for any type of hot water kashering. Now, once that's achieved, you want to take a towel because this does make some of a mess. You want to put this out on the floor and then you, for safety, you want to take hot gloves because you don't want to get hurt in the process of kashering. This is boiling water and boiling water can burn. Now, you take the, um, this is a, an ideal kashering uh, pitcher because it has a spout, easier to pour than just a pot. You will take it and you go over the entire surface of the of the countertop, and this this is a, is a form of kashra. There is an added stringency that some use, which is to take a burning hot brick and to pour the water over this onto onto the surface, and that what that does is that it superheats the water so that it's even hotter as it reaches the countertop, so that the kashra is even at a higher temperature. Now. Uh, the stainless steel stink would be done in the same way. One needs to kasher it by pouring boiling water. And like I said, some would add to that by using a brick, which even makes it hotter. And that uh, um, is, is according to you know, certainly all the, all the stringency, which is according to all the positions. Now, if one is going to use a, an insert or some kind of a rack inside the sink, this is not absolutely necessary. On countertops, also many feel that this is not necessary, but it's an added stringency that some will do. This is how one kashers. Once the kashering is complete, as in all cases, you'll take cold water and pour it over the surfaces that have been kashered.